Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial answers you want, the agronomy explanations you need, and the insights that will set you up for success on your farm. We're out here today in our core principles plot, and we're gonna look at one of the things that we've looked at almost from precision planting's inception, and that's this concept of singulation. So simply defined, this is a planter meter's ability to drop a single seed off of every finger or hole in a disc to avoid costly skips or doubles. So first let's talk about uh, what causes them, and then we'll talk about uh, how we can try to overcome some of these things. So what causes it is a meter that is sensitive to size or shape. So instead of having a flat hole in a disc, I've got a groove that I'm trying to fit a specific side, uh, seed size or shape, and I'm trying to adjust due to vacuum. Most of today's meters have now advanced to where there's what's called a knockout, so we're going to run higher vacuum to hold tightly to seeds, and then we can adjust a knockout to get us into a higher range of accuracy. So what do we consider good singulation? If we put it on a grading scale, we're going to say anything 99% or above. And you say, well, man, that seems a little bit stringent. Why do we have to be uh, that particular? Think about what 1% error is on 34,000 seeds. 34,000 seeds in an acre with 1% error is 340 more errors that I've introduced into the acre. Now, if we look at a double, a double puts two plants too close together to where they become poor energy converters. One ear will typically get smaller because we get a shading effect. We've, we've taken our solar panels and brought them too close together. A skip is gonna cost us about eight tenths of an ear. We don't lose the full ear because we've got a gap in between where we're, we're missing grain that should have been there, but the ears on either side will flex. Let's think about why that happens. When I think about a plant, I think about it as two simple things. Number one, it's a solar collector, and number two, it's a straw. Here's what I mean by that. Very simply, we've got leaves that are collecting sunlight. So if I think about powering a machine shed with solar panels, we're not gonna take panels and set one up here, and then another one on top, and another one on top of that. The purpose of a solar panel is to expose the entire surface area to sunlight so that we can convert sunlight energy into electricity. A corn plant's really no different. We're trying to get as much of the leaf area exposed to sunlight as we can so that we can convert sunlight into photosynthesis. So what does that have to do with a straw? When the sunlight hits the surface of the earth, I'm gonna go very general, water leaves, either through evaporation on bare soil or it's gonna leave through transpiration in a leaf. You know that at the end of the day, you want the water to leave through the leaf so that we're not wasting the water through poor uh, poor sunlight energy, or poor direction of that sunlight, rather. When sunlight hits a leaf, at night, those leaves are gonna transpirate. And as they transpire, that creates a low pressure at the top of that plant, which is what creates the suction to bring water and nutrients up through it. So this is why it's critical to get solar panels positioned as best we can to maximize the collection of sunlight and minimize the waste of water and maximize our transpiration. So in the event of a double, Solar panels too close together, poor energy conversion, poor sunlight utilization, and we get about four tenths of an ear loss for every double event. In the event of a skip, as I said earlier, about eight tenths of an ear loss because the ones on either side are able to flex a little bit, but we're missing the grain that we should have had in between. Today's PTI agronomy tip, understand what your meter is capable of. Many meters can get that 99% plus accuracy out in the field, but it's gonna take some adjustment. The first thing we need to do is be able to see in the cab live to make the necessary adjustments and make sure that we're having our meters run in the off season. Thanks for watching today. If you have more questions or want more information, please visit our website at precisionplanting.com or reach out to your local Precision Planting Premier Dealer.